shorten the directions because you know what the directions are. Okay, so um, write the equation of the tangent line. We're going to abbreviate because we know this question at the given point. Okay, so the function this time might be, say, f of x is equal to maybe, say, an x to the third natural log of x. So your functions now are going to have that natural log in there, and then 1, 0 is going to be your given point. Okay, so the way we do this question is going to be the way we have always done this question. All right, just now you've got that natural log. So what do we do? We take the derivative because we got to find the slope. If I'm going to write the equation of that tangent line, I need two things. I need the slope and I need a point on that line. So I got to find the slope. To find the slope, here let's switch to red. To find the slope, I need to find the derivative. Okay, so the derivative here, this is product rule, right? So the first times the derivative of the second. I'm going to use this DDX notation throughout all the notes. Okay, and then Oops, then you guys can shorten it if you want to later. The second function, and then times the derivative ddx of that x to the third. All right, and I don't like that it happens to me all the time. Sometimes when I'm writing natural log, I screw that up every time. Natural log, there we go. All right, so x to the third. All right, derivative of natural log of x, we got to have this one down pat. You got to have this memorized really quick. Derivative of x is one, and then over x. Natural log of x, derivative there is going to be a 3x squared. Okay, and then just a matter of clean this up. All right, so uh, laws of exponents here, right? x to the third on top, x on the bottom, that's going to simplify to an x squared. All right, this, you really need to pull this 3x squared out in front, because otherwise it's going to get looking confusing. Well, what am I really taking the log of? So we want that 3x squared in front natural log of x, because the only thing you're taking the natural log of at that point is the x. All right, so now we've got our derivative. What's this? This gives us a slope at any point along the curve. So now I need to plug in um, 1 into this to find the actual slope. So the derivative at 1, then it's going to be what? Let's plug it right in there. So 1 squared plus 3 times 1 times the natural log of 1. Okay, now pre-calc. How much do you remember? We were in that COVID. We were at home on this. So I don't know how much you remember of this at all. What's the natural log of one? Anybody remember? <laughs> Close, but no, there is an E. Where is the E? The E is the base right here, right? Actually, since you brought that up, let's go with it. All right, so natural log of one, all right? And you know there's an E involved, right? Because when it's a natural base, our base, when it's a natural log, our base is E. If I were to evaluate this, what did we do about this? So if I went from logarithmic form to exponential form, all right, it was what? It would be E raised to what power equals one? E raised to what power equals one? Oh, so in this case, it's E to the zero with power equals one, so the answer would be zero. Yeah. So in other words, the natural log of one equals zero. Yes, excellent, excellent, Josiah. That made me go into all that and that, that you know, you can just memorize natural log of one equals zero, but why? Why does it equal that? It's because when I go from logarithmic form to exponential form, that exponent has to be a zero right there. So yes, excellent, very good. Okay, so I've got a one plus three times one times zero. That's just gonna be zero. So my slope then is one. Okay, so I've got my slope, I've got my point. All right, if I have my slope and I have my point, then I should be able to write the equation of the tangent line in point slope form. Equation of tangent line. All right, point slope form, right? So y minus zero equals my slope is one times x minus one. And then now we can clean that up a little bit. Y equals x minus one, all right? Okay. All right. So uh, what this does, all I mean, like I said, you've learned one new calc thing. You've learned how to take the derivative of the natural log. And then now you're just going to put it back into every type of problem that we already know how to do. All right. You're just putting it right back into what we already know how to do. So that's why I, I like it when the, the transcendental functions come later in the calc book. 
All right, because it seems like so far, because are, are we all agreeing that so far this is pretty simple? Are we all agreeing? I'm going to go to see some faces. Are we all agreeing? Are we awake this morning? Okay, good. Yeah, every now and then I got to switch back to gallery view to be able to see you guys. Okay, all right. Now, um, you are going to this.